Hey guys, it's art time. Time for some art. We're gonna start a new project today that I'm very excited about. This project is all about lines. Lines are one of our elements of art. And a line is something we use in our artwork to either draw the shapes of your objects, or you could draw straight lines, wavy lines, curvy lines, swirly lines, organic lines, all kinds of lines. And we're using lines today on a really cool thing. We're gonna be drawing something today that is called One Point Perspective. It's about to get mathy in here. Just kidding, well, not really, it is mathy. But it's fun. So we're going to use one point perspective to draw some 3D things. I know y'all like 3D things, so I thought it'd be fun to draw one. Now, you're going to need a pencil today and a piece of paper. And you're also going to need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, that is OK. We're going to be using it to draw straight lines. So if you have another pencil, you could use another pencil as a ruler to draw straight lines. Or if you have a book or a binder or something like that, anything with a hard straight edge you can use. But we're just using a tool to draw straight lines today. So a ruler is best, but if you don't have one, there's tons of stuff you can use. Now, have you ever used a ruler before and when you're drawing it, it starts to move on you like this, or you're drawing it and the ruler wiggles and your line comes out all wonky? That's because you don't know the eagle claw technique. We are going to use something today that's called the eagle claw technique. And the eagle claw technique is a way to hold your ruler so that it doesn't move on you. If you take your ruler and you give it the eagle claw and you hold it in two places like this, when you draw with it, you're going to get a perfectly straight line. Now you also have to go and give the eagle claw call, claw call, the call of the eagle claw so that <laughs> it works. But if you hold your ruler in just one spot, when you're moving your pencil, sometimes the ruler will move. If you do the eagle claw and hold it in two places, it's a much stronger hold where it's not going to move on you. Got it? Eagle claw. So, caca. Now, we're gonna, <laughs> I almost spelled a word here. Trav this. That's me. So, we're going to draw something 3D today using our ruler and pencil. So, a fa la la, and you'll see some awesomeness. We're going to draw something that's called one point perspective. One point perspective is when you draw a point on your paper, boop, a little dot right there in the middle. I put a little point. See my point? Get the point. Sorry. But we're going to put a little point somewhere on our page. And this is a way we can make things 3D. This is technically math, but it's the fun kind of art math, so it's a little different. So I'm going to draw some shapes around my little point I put. So maybe I'll put a big rectangle right here. Maybe I'll put a long skinny one up here like that. Maybe I'll put a little stairway looking blocky shape like this. Maybe I'll put a triangle shape right there. But we can put some blocky shapes that have corners um, all over our page. Now when I say a blocky shape that has corners, a corner can be an innie or an outie, like that. But a corner is basically where two lines come together, okay? So you want shapes that have corners, not curves. So you can do little curvy things if, you know, if you wanted, but for today let's leave the curves out and only do straight line shapes. Now if I wanted this to be perfect, I probably would have drawn it with my ruler and made all my lines super straight, but I didn't do that, and that's okay. But from here on out, it's super important, super important, that we draw all of our lines with a ruler so that they are so straight. All right, here's how it works. There are three rules to draw in one-point perspective. The first rule is draw 
each corner to the dot, okay? So I'm gonna get my ruler and I'm gonna pick a corner. I'll do this shape that's closest to the dot first. And I'm gonna line up a corner with the dot. So I'm gonna get my ruler and line them up and I'm gonna draw from the dot to the corner and stop when you hit the corner. So I went corner to the dot. Okay, I'm gonna to go to my next corner. I'm gonna use my ruler, I'm gonna line them up, corner to the dot, I'm gonna draw it. Just like that, okay? Now here's the second rule of one point perspective. If you're drawing a corner to the dot and it goes through your block, through your shape, you're not gonna draw it, okay? So this corner, if I line it up with the dot, it goes through my shape, so I'm gonna skip it. This one, corner, line it up with the dot. Am I going through my shape? That's right, so I'm gonna skip it. Don't do it, just don't, just don't, don't. So I skipped it. So that shape is technically done. Corner to the dot, corner to the dot. Can't do it, can't do it, okay? Right now it looks weird, but as we draw more, you'll see how 3D this begins to look. So the first rule, corner to the dot. Second rule, don't draw through your shapes. I'll go to this next weird shape. Line up my corner to the dot. Corner to the dot. Go to the next corner, corner to the dot. Go to the next corner, corner to the dot. Line them up. This corner to that dot. You can do it. It's very thin. It's so thin. See how that's right beside it? But it's there, so you can do it. Um, that's why it's very important to use a ruler and not freehand it. If I freehanded that line, it would be all like crooked and not work. Okay, corner to the dot. I'll go to the next corner. I'm gonna line them up. Can I do it? That's right, I can't. Next corner to the dot, line them up. Can I do it? Nay, I can't. So that shape is done. Are you starting to see the 3D look now? I'm gonna to go to this long tangle, rectangle that's long, corner to the dot, line them up and draw it. I'm gonna line up this corner to the dot. Ooh, <laughs> oh no, a new rule, the third rule. Here it comes, are you ready? If you start to draw a corner to the dot and you hit something, stop. So let's watch, corner to the dot, I'm gonna line them up. I'm gonna to start to draw it, and as soon as I, see how I hit that shape? As soon as you hit the shape, stop, stop. Corner to the dot, I can't do it. Corner to the dot, I can't do it. So that one's done. Boom, here comes another. This one's gonna be cool. If I can pick up this ruler, corner to the dot, line them up. Ooh, it's gonna go right down the middle. I love it when it goes right down the middle like that. Look at that, it's perfect. Corner to the dot, line them up. I'm gonna start to draw it and I stopped because I hit something, right? So stop. Corner to the dot, I'm gonna line them up, but I'm going through that shape, so I'm not gonna draw it. You see how this is starting to look kind of 3D? Can you imagine these shapes now? Are you starting to see it? You'll see it in a second if you don't yet. Um, I'm gonna start with this one. Corner to the dot, line it up and draw it. Corner to the dot, line it up and draw it. Corner to the dot, line it up. I'm gonna start to draw it, but guess what? I'm gonna stop as soon as I hit something. Corner to the dot, can't do it. This is crazy. The stair one, the wildest of them all. Let's go. Corner to the dot, line them up. Corner to the dot, this one's gonna be one of those skinny ones, but I can do it. Look how close those are, but it works. Here we go. Corner to the dot, line them up. Corner to the dot, line them up. Corner to the dot, line them up. I hit something, corner to the dot. Line them up. I hit something. Corner to the dot. Line them up. I hit something. Corner to the dot. Line them up. Corner to the dot. Line them up. 
corner to the dot, line them up. And I can't do that one because it goes through the shape and I can't do that one. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. It's like a 3D stairwell. Do you see how this kind of looks crazy 3D? If you were a little man standing on top here, it's almost like a bunch of skyscrapers. Pretend you're Superman or Wonder Woman or Spider-Man. Well, not flying, Spider-Man would like web, but pretend you're flying over the city and you're looking down and it keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And there's a man and he's running and he trips. Whoa! And he starts to fall, but then luckily you're Wonder Woman, so you fly down and scoop him up in your invisible airplane and all is good. Thanks for saving the day. I was worried about that guy, but you did it. You did it. This is how we can use one point perspective to draw cool 3D shapes. It's so fun, oh I love it. I'm gonna draw one on the bottom here too. So cool. So I hope you had fun today. We're gonna stop here. This video is too long already, but I'm gonna show you some cool things we can do with one point perspective next week to make even more interesting drawings than weird 3D shape collages. It's gonna be awesome. Hope I see you there. Bye.